The DBU women's golf team is coming off a 2015 season in which they won the Heartland Conference title and were the top seed in the West Region entering the Super Regionals. Despite missing out on a return trip to the National Championships last year, head coach Kenny Trapp has high expectations for a Lady Patriots team that has become one of the nation's elite programs in women's golf. I guess everybody expects to go to Nationals, but just don't realize how hard that is to do every year. You know, we, you always try to peak. You know, we're always trying to talk about peaking at the end of the year. And, you know, last year we would have a good tournament and then a bad tournament. Good tournament, bad tournament. And then we, towards the end of the year, we played well at conference, ended up winning conference, and then going into regionals as a number one seed. You know, I think a little bit of that was some pressure on some of the girls, and we just didn't respond to it well. So I got to figure out a way, how are we going to take that uh, lesson from last year and learn from it this year so that we are peaking at the right time in this, you know, this coming spring. The Lady Patriots are coming off a fall season in which they won their last three tournaments and finished the fall ranked number four in the nation. With a strong group of veterans returning, combined with a highly talented group of newcomers, Trap hopes to carry that momentum into the spring. You know, coming off the fall we had, we obviously had a great fall, a couple wins, even winning the National Christian Championship, had some freshmen play really well. But I think part of that is having uh, senior leadership. And anytime you have great leadership at the top, it just trickles down. I mean, we can, you know, say what we want as coaches, but if you don't have good leaders on your team, you're not going to go very far. And I thought, you know, this, um, this fall and leading into the spring, you know, I hope we continue that. Um, I and mean, we have leaders off the golf course, on the golf course, and uh, anytime you can have both, both of those, you're headed in the right direction. Leading the way for the Lady Patriots will be senior Sydney Williams, who's twice been named an All-American during her time at DBU. With Williams heading into her senior year, Trapp has seen her game develop and reach new heights as she enters her final season. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, Sydney Williams is just one of those girls that gets it. I mean, as soon as she walked on campus, she had success. Uh, especially as a freshman, she was an All-American. I think the turning point with Sydney was when she had a bad sophomore year. I think she realized, hey, I do have to work hard. I have to do things day to day to get better. I can't just, you know, rely on my talent. I have to do things intentionally each day to get better in my game. And, you know, coming off last year, <clears throat> she had a great year, another All-American year. But then really this fall, she took ownership of being a leader and um, played really well. I mean, she's one of the top players in the country right now. And, and going into the spring, I think that is, um, she worked hard this offseason, and other girls notice that on the team. I think the freshmen have taken taken to that and try to, you know, they compete against each other. Anytime you have um, great leaders at the top, along with obviously Sydney Williams being such a great leader, I mean, you have these freshman girls that want to beat her, and then she wants to beat them. So it's just it's just a great competitive atmosphere. And anytime you can have a competitive atmosphere on a team in a good way, it's awesome. Williams has been a key part of the Lady Patriots' success during her four-year stretch at DBU, and she has high expectations for a team looking to make another postseason run in 2016. Well, pretty much we have high expectations just because we have been nationally ranked and we are ranked so high, but going into the spring season, we're pretty much just working on a daily basis to be the best that we can be on and off the golf course. Um, we kind of like to have the mindset of going to practice each day with um, just really good intentions and getting better at what we need to improve on um, as teammates and as, you know, Christian servant leadership and all of that. So we really just want to become better people and hopefully just the rest takes care of itself. But um, we really just feel like if we work as hard as it, we're supposed to work and as hard as we do work every single day, that um, going forward through conference and regionals should not be a problem. In addition to Williams, DBU also brings back a wealth of veteran talent in juniors Kirsten Pike and Sarah Kim, along with senior Abby Bradley. Pike was a second-team all-conference selection last year and is coming off a sophomore season in which she placed in the top five on the leaderboard on four different occasions. Fellow junior Sarah Kim also put together a solid year in her second season at DBU, posting seven top 20 finishes, including three in the top 10. As for Bradley, who played a key role in 2014 for a team that advanced to the NCAA National Championships, she looks to come back from an injury that kept her out last season. In addition to a talented group of upperclassmen, DBU also welcomes in a heralded freshman recruiting class that burst onto the scene this past fall, led by Ann Parmeter, who enters the spring as the number one ranked freshman in the country after finishing in the top three and four out of DBU's five fall tournaments. As Parmeter enters the spring season, she looks to continue her development and build upon the success she experienced in the fall. Mainly, it was a lot of maturity, definitely. Golf is golf, I mean, I just kind of play my game, but my maturity level through my golf game Definitely in golf, man, like course management, uh, just kind of co being coachable, that kind of thing. Coach Trapp definitely had a huge part of that. Just kind of trying to be more coachable, listening to him, 
processing what he said and kind of taking that in and being able to take that back on the course. Freshman Bryn Ferris is another key part of the Lady Patriots strong recruiting class and was excited to join the DBU program last fall. I really liked the people at DBU. I felt most comfortable around um, Christians. You know, I liked the chapel three days a week and also the team aspect. I really liked how everyone's very community is very connected. Like our whole our whole entire team is very close. Um, we do everything together. We're we're like family. So that's why I chose DBU. As DBU enters the conference portion of their schedule, Trap eagerly anticipates the impact this group of newcomers will make in 2016. Sure, anytime you have high hopes for freshmen, it seems to work the opposite. So this coming into this year, I just tried to be calm with them, stay patient with them, and boy, they got off to a great start. I tell you what, they were um, strong early and finished the uh, fall really good. All, all of them really had a huge part in what we're trying to do here. Uh, with obviously Ann was you know number one in the country for a long extended period of time in the fall and that was huge and then you know at the end of the fall we had Christian jump up it wasn't even a top five and won a tournament so that was nice to see and and looking forward to them in the spring because they're going to have a great opportunity to keep you know keep going strong keep getting better every day that's you know just trying to build a culture where they're getting better every day to understand what it is to, to be competitive each day to win each day and to be a great teammate at the same time. With the spring season right around the corner, Trapp's message is to stay focused on the day-to-day -day process as his squad seeks to make another run at a conference title and a trip to the postseason. Obviously, talk about the process a ton. I mean, we just try to stay in the moment, but, you know, we know that we have a very good program and we're going the right direction each day and uh, just trying to get everybody to understand that it is a process to get the best out of each other. you got to be competitive every day, be intentional with each practice and put first things first. Anytime you try to get ahead of yourself on any kind of result, that's when you know you're not going to get the best. But when you relax and have fun and compete and, and hold each other accountable on and off the golf course, that's when you're going to be the best. DBU's spring schedule begins on February 15th when they play at the Dominion Country Club in San Antonio. On April 18th to the 19th in Horseshoe Bay, the Lady Patriots take aim at winning their third Heartland Conference title in the last four years. With the DBU women's golf team in search of another run towards the NCAA National Championships, we look forward to seeing you at the golf course in 2016.